Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with The Long Dark, where we're trying to map the entire world for the uh, Faithful Cartographer achievement. Last episode we kind of went through Timber Wolf Mountain, and now we're at Angler's Den in Ash Canyon. We're going to try to make our way up to the gold mine so that we can get the technical backpack. I've kind of shed some weight here. Uh, we're under 40 kilos. Um, we've kind of... I won't say we're bringing the barren essential essentials, but we're bringing uh, most of it, what, what we need. We don't have much food on us. Uh, that's going to be a bit of an issue. We'll probably have to collect some food as we go. Uh, water's a little bit low as well. But we're going to head out here. It's morning. Things are looking pretty good. We're going to have to map as we go. Hopefully the conditions are good enough for that. But we're kind of heading north up along this river. I will grab some sticks along the way. <laughs> Heading north, uh, it's quite a journey to get to the gold mine, but um, hopefully we'll get it all in this episode. We may be collecting some food along the way. There's lots of uh, cattail stalks along here. So we'll be grabbing those as we go. We don't need tinder anymore because our fire skill is good enough. I'm not sure we'll, if we'll be able to map in these conditions, though. I'll be mapping as I go, just to see... Just to have things show up on the map. Now, when you hit the falls here, you head up this slope. So I'm gonna... Oh, there's more food here I gotta get. We're gonna need this food, I think, unless we... encounter some wolves. Which we may eat along the way. Hopefully not. Okay, so we go up this ramp here. I'm gonna try to map here just real quick. Just to see if the conditions are good enough. They seem to be. So yeah, we were here, we're kinda heading northwest, and then ultimately north. Hey, there's a burn barrel here, I didn't know this was here. <laughs> we'll take the charcoal. We have a lot of charcoal on us, but we are gonna need it, so. I'm going to get a flare ready, because I know there's wolves around here. So you kind of go up here. We'll ultimately see that bridge way up there. We'll ultimately gonna, we're ultimately going to be on that. But we got to get up, get all the way up there first. What was that dead person there? Could end up being used. Shoes? I'm going to leave the shoes behind. <laughs> Don't need those. We'll try to be less hoardy this episode. Oh, we're getting food along the way. That's good. That's promising. Got some climbs to do here. I'm going to ignore the rose hips and just try to go as fast as I can here. Quite, uh, quite the journey, but it's a cool zone. I really like this zone. This is where I encountered wolves on my interloper playthrough. I actually encountered three wolves here, so we will have to be careful. But we'll grab this food. Oh, I forgot to get the the dog food off the uh, counter before I left. That could have uh, filled us up quite a bit, but we'll save it for when we get back. Yeah, I hear those wolves. <clears throat> Maybe we'll use a torch instead. If I have any on me. I've got one. Let's make some torches real quick. Oh, I just wasted a match by doing that. You gotta hold the mouse button down. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna make a fire here real quick. Use the torch to light it. Burn a log and some sticks and we'll take some torches out of here. Because there's, uh, there's the wolves up ahead. Come on, little fire. There we go. Uh, this right. one's not so good, so we'll put that away. Let's add some sticks. And take 
some torches out. Hopefully we get some good ones. Yeah, that one's pretty good. We'll grab four torches, maybe. That one's not very good, but I guess we'll take it. That one's terrible. <laughs> we'll take what we can get here. I've noticed the torches from indoor stoves seem to be better. But I don't know if it's just... Oh, that one's terrible. Yeah. I'm not even going to grab that one. That one's alright. Get one more. Yeah, that's good. We should probably boil some water as well, but I'm going to skip that for now. And actually, I'm going to put this out. And we're going to map here real quick. Just to map along the way. So we are now here. Moving north still. I'll just take a fresh torch. Oh, now we're spraying risk. <laughs> we'll be tossing this torch pretty soon. Yeah, this is where I encountered resistance. <laughs> now we're not going to kill these wolves. We're just going to scare them off. As we go here. Yeah, lots of wolves. This is probably the same one, but... We'll try to point him in the other direction. Where'd he go? There he is. He lost. This torch might go out, so we'll uh, have to be careful here. Conditions just got really, really foggy. Now, I think we had... Oh, there's a dead guy here. Use this. Leave that behind. Probably good for cloth, but we'll leave it behind. Yeah, we got some cloth on us already. Now I can't remember if we go left here or straight up the way we're going. I think it's this way. It kind of looks like we go up across these falls. Hmm. There's no way up there. Uh, there's no way up there. I think we go to the right here. No, I could be wrong. But I think we go this way. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh... Well, if we get lost, we'll get lost. It's I'm okay. gonna have to leave something behind. What kind of map as we go here? We need to kind of cover the whole zone anyway, so... This kind of looks like a... dead end. There's a cave here. Oh, actually, this might be what I want. There's a cave we need to go through to get... I think this is it. Actually, this is this is it. So when you get to those falls, kind of head right down the hill. And then follow this cave. All the way through. Oh, this is a different cave. Mm, I don't remember this. I think I'm going the wrong way. Um, hmm. Well... Actually, no, I think this is right. I think this is right. We're going to take our clothes off because they're going to get wet otherwise if we go through here. Take the clothes off. And we're naked now. Uh, and then we're going to th throw this torch down. Actually, I'm going to get a fresh torch to do this. So 
So this is a trick. It probably won't be possible forever, but you right click it to replace it. Run through the falls. And then place it down. Goddamn freezing. And it should still be lit. It's kinda cheaty. But we are now in here. <clears throat> and then we are gonna put our clothes back on. Okay, this got wet, but I don't think it matters. I'm gonna leave my socks and shoes off. Just for now, because I think there's some where'd my other hat go? Oh, we gotta take this off. Put this on. Put that there. And put this on. There we go. The reason I'm gonna leave my socks and shoes off is because there's a. Uh, I think there's some more wet spots we need to walk through, and we don't want our shoes to get wet. Okay, we got some fuel in here. I'll grab it, even though we're kind of this over is overloaded right now. Making sure to get all the coal. Okay, here we go. We're gonna head up here. I was gonna say that I just did this on my interloper playthrough not so long ago, but it actually has been a, a while now. Because I've come back through here and gone to another zone since then, so it's, uh, it's a distant memory now. Okay, let's uh, replace our torch pretty soon. When I watch some of the really experienced people play this game, they let the torch go down to like, like almost nothing, and they throw it on the ground and replace it. And uh, I'm always impressed by how how near to the line they take it. And I'm not going to be like them. I'm going to get a torch going long before I need the next one. I think it's safe to put my socks back on actually. Let's put those back on. We got a dead deer in here. I might actually harvest this guy because our food reserves are pretty... We'll see they're low because we got lots of cat cattails, but let's see how much food this guy has. 1.1 kilograms of meat. I'll we'll just keep moving. Might eat him on the way back. Hope I can still eat this. Okay, we got some food there. Let's uh, fuel up here. Get this drink out of the way. I'll eat this more suspect food at night before I sleep. Okay, that got us a little bit more fueled up. And we'll do a short climb here. Too encumbered. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here, we're quite a bit over. How's our. We're pretty exhausted as well. Hmm. What time of day is it? It's midday. What should we drop here? We got just picked up lots of fur logs. We'll drop those. Uh, maybe drop a bit of this coal. Drop a lot of these sticks. Okay, we're close. Uh, let's... Hmm. Drop some of these? No. Let's just drop this last log. This torch is about to go, so let's change that up. Being careful not to waste a match. Okay, I think we're good now. I already searched that right. Yep, yep, yep. Up we go. Now your torch will remain lit. They changed the game. So you don't have to throw torches up anymore. And we're back up. Not back up. Now we're up. <laughs> there is some stuff over here. Back kind of overlooks the cave. Um, we'll take a look. There might be stuff here. Sometimes there's some a dead wolf here, I think. But this time... Oh, there's some food. That's good. We'll take it. And the charcoal. No charcoal in there. Okay, moving on. We are getting pretty tired here. I'm going to drink some coffee. 
replenish that stamina meter a little bit. So we're, this is where we were before, so we're just going to keep going straight up. Up the hill. <sighs> and then what? I'm going from memory here. Don't fail me now, memory. Um, looks like we go this way. <laughs> nope, that is death. Okay, let's uh, light another torch here. I guess we go to the right. Hmm. Where the heck am I? <laughs> Where the heck am I? Oh, we go over this thing. Right. It's all coming back to me. Not really. <laughs> Oh, uh, we got a bridge here. That's good. Progress. We got progress. Now, there is a turnoff here. So, if you go that way, that leads to this whole area here. Miner's Folly and a whole bunch of stuff. I think I'm going to light a fire just so I can make some more torches real quick here. Let's use our torch. Actually, I don't think I need any more torches now, so we're going to toss that way down there, and we're going to map. I don't think there's any... Oh, it's too low visibility. Let's just sleep for an hour and see if the fog clears. Because I want to be able to map here. So yeah, the east side is kind of Miner's Folly. It's a really cool zone, or sub-area. I spent several weeks there in the game. Uh, my other playthrough. We're just gonna keep sleeping a little bit here until the fog clears. If it clears. Mm. Gonna keep, just keep doing this. Hopefully the weather changes. Uh, that's better. Let's see if that works. That should work. There we go. So we are here. We started down at Angler's Den, kind of came up through here, went through a cave. And it came out the other side of the cave. And now we are heading up to the gold mine. Careful here, there's a slight uh, danger. Slight danger. Oh, I got a rope here. Hmm. Something's gotta go. Don't think I'm gonna bring that. You c Hmm. You know what? I will. I will bring this. We don't need it, but I'll bring it. <clears throat> and I'll show you why. There's a climb down into the gold mining place we're gonna do. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And I can't remember if there's a rope there or not, but uh But you don't need the rope. You can shimmy down the wall instead. Something's dead up here. Let's make sure we don't lose our well fed bonus. Let's eat some stuff. Uh, we're actually almost there and only 18 minutes in so that's good I should get these uh, we don't have the extra weight though but uh, are we liter are we gonna use a bow anytime soon that's sleeping Probably won't, probably won't be using a bow through this whole playthrough, so. And I keep collecting feathers, but they don't weigh much, so that I'm not too concerned about. The maple saplings for making the actual bow. And the birch are for arrows. Much meat on this guy. Not much meat on that guy. Got some spray paint. Oh, we got a fish. A random fish. <laughs> Zero percent. Uh, should we cook them up? Have a little fish fry? Um, I think he'll not be ruined if we cook him. Let's have a little 
a quick little barbecue here. Why not? I should light a torch first. Gotta use all these matches up that we have. <laughs> Yeah, we'll cook up that fish, eat him up. Come on. The sewing kit doesn't weigh much. I might take that. Keep this torch just for fire lighting purposes. And add some fuel here. I guess I'll use coal. And we're going to use our pot for the fish, I think. Probably need some water as well. You know what? Let's just do some water as well. Well, we got the fire going here. So we'll cook that fish up and I think it should restore it from zero. 39 minutes. Okay, let's do some water. Do a liter. Got an hour on that fire. Might add, um, Get some sticks here. Got some more sticks here. Let's grab them. Put them on the fire. We could harvest this guy as well while we wait. And do some... Yeah, let's just do this. Four minutes, why not? Why the heck not? Actually, when I said we were close, we're not really that close. We still have quite a few bridges to go over. 28 minutes, 14 minutes, let's uh, just blast through this. Take that, we're just gonna eat that fish right away. Oh, I didn't check the condition, hopefully it was good. <laughs> we didn't get food poisoning, that's a good sign. Let's cook, oops, let's cook up that uh, deer bits, rancid. Drink some water. We'll do another half liter, maybe. Take that, take that, and let's get out of here. I don't think we need a torch, but we'll bring one. I think I'm going the right he way here. Up through this pass. Actually, while I got the fire going, Let's um let's do some mapping here again real quick. There goes that fire. Okay, we're up here. Now there's a bunch of bridges that we're gonna traverse over here. I think we go this way. Yep, here's the next bridge. First big bridge, I guess. And there's some matches here. These things always freak me out. They kind of sway and creep me out. I always think I'm going to fall. Pretty tired here, and it is getting later. There's sometimes some more matches along these steps here, but not today. And I think if we look down, now I'm not 100% sure, but I think below there is where we came from. There's a really good viewpoint coming up here. Whoa. Is that the way we came? Uh, might be. We'll be able to better see up here a bit. Like I said, you don't need to pick up that rope, so I'm carrying around an extra five kilograms, but... I wish the weather was better, because I wanted to show you guys the view from here. 
it's usually pretty spectacular. Okay. I don't think that's where we came from. I think that's uh, towards Miner's Folly is over that way. But I'm not 100% sure. More maple saplings. We'll leave those. And we got a little sign here telling us that doesn't say anything, but this is the way. <laughs> this is the way to the mining mining camp. We'll go with this suspect bridge here. I should probably be mapping as I go here, if it'll allow it. It's probably not going to allow it. Oh, it did. So we're here. Um, I think we're arrived by this bridge, I think. We recently went over. Whoa, that almost pushed me off. <laughs> that would have been the end of the place. <laughs> the end of the series. Grind falls to his death. Yeah, when I said we were close, we were not close. But now we're getting close. We're going over that way, I think. What is this, a root? Okay, another scary bridge. But hopefully I don't run off. Oh, the weather's getting better. We got a cool, uh, colorful sky coming along here. Yeah. I'm always worried we're gonna if you rest on these holes whether you're gonna fall through or not. More matches floating in the air here. We'll grab them. And more here. Jeez. Okay, so you don't go right, you go left. Over this log. Or rock. Oh, we got good weather now. Beautiful weather. I think I forgot to eat that uh venison. Nice looking view here. Creeping along the side of the mountain. Okay, <clears throat> can we see where we came from? I think it's down there somewhere. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Maybe a little bit, a little bit higher, we get a better view here. I think this is actually Moose Jaw Overlook. Moose something overlook. Wolf jaw overlook. Plus some free food. We'll grab it. Getting pretty damn tired here. Dusk. The night can't be far behind. We'll sleep we'll sleep in the mine when we get to it here. But let's uh take a look here. I think Oh, there it is. Okay, you can see the cabin way down there. It's kind of in the center of the screen right now. It's kind of... The river meanders and then... Do I have a rock on me? I can show you guys. No. Well, we can use the rifle, I guess. It is right there. See the little house there? That's where we came from. We've come a long way. Quite the walk. Oh, I got a, I got a map here. Because this is a... Big vantage point. There we go. Wolf's jaw overlook. I think I'm hearing Aurora music. <clears throat> I got some climbs here to go through. Some wood I'll leave behind. Yeah, we're almost 100% exhausted here. Now there's a cave coming up that we can rest in. If you're, if you're coming through here with bad weather, there's a few places you can rest. There was a place earlier on, I should have mentioned, kind of like a little, not a cave, but kind of like a some overhead rock to keep you uh, protected. And this would be a decent place here, but there's a cave up ahead. Yeah, I can hear the aurora music. Down. Have a little sleep right here. I think we're... 
yeah, at the beginning of an aurora, we're gonna drink some coffee here, even though we're about to sleep. I think we're making good time. This little overhead place, pretty good place to rest as well, as long as it's warm enough. Got some logs here. So temperature here is 24, or yeah. Feels like 24, what about on the other side here? Let's see, there's our coverage here. Feels like 10, yeah, quite a bit warmer. So good place to rest, you might need a fire depending on your clothing and the weather. We continue to go up though, up, up and away. We'll take a peek in from this side here. So that's the way we came over that bridge. And I think we're actually... I was gonna say, I think we're heading down into there. But I'm not 100% sure. There's no wolves along this whole journey, or bears, so it's pretty safe. Here's that cave I was talking about. So a good place to rest before you uh, you head into the mine. The mine's not very far away, but we're gonna sleep for the night here. I'm gonna take my lantern out and take a look here just to see if there's anything. Might be some loot in here, maybe. Flares and wood. Okay, let's have a snooze. Drink some water. And we're going to sleep as long as we can here. We'll try for 10 hours. So we are exhausted. Eat some more food and drink. I gotta cook up this venison at some point. I should have eaten this suspect food first. We'll do it here. Hopefully we don't get food poisoning. We were lucky. I really should cook these up because they're pretty heavy. But let's sleep, uh, what time is it? A couple more hours here. We want good visibility. And I think it's pretty good. We are going to drop this heavy uh, rope here in a second, or use it, not drop it. The weather is a little suspect. Got some more birch saplings ahead. So first time I ever came here, I've been here about, I think three times now? Maybe my third or fourth time, I think my third time. First time here I thought I needed to climb down. And I didn't have a rope. So that was kind of a, a disappointment, but um, we're going to attach this rope that we picked up earlier. Like I said, you don't need it. We're not even going to use it, but that's the way down into the uh, miners camp down there. But we're going to skip that and we're going to go the other way.
which is just around the corner here. There's a way to climb in. No, I don't think it's there. I think it might be right here. Yeah. So you can just kind of climb down here, crouching as you go. A little bit, uh, a little bit suspect, <laughs> but it works. You might get uh, you might get a broken wrist or some broken ankles, but it's okay. Oh, we got two. We got two. Jeez, I'm gonna repair those. We don't need to, but let's use the use the bandages for something. Uh, sprained wrist and sprained ankles. First time I did this, I didn't get any sprains. I was just lucky. Eat some painkillers. So we get rid of that blurry vision. So there's some bunnies here if you need them. <clears throat> if you're hungry. But we'll check out the uh, miners camp here. Let's do a map. There we go. Probably should have done a map at the top. Oh yeah, if you want to come back this way, you need to deploy the rope. Otherwise there's only a, there's another there's another way out of here that's a one way. One way only. Um But I'm gonna come back this way because we need to map uh minor spally and stuff. Just see what we got here. There's like a cabinet here that you might find some loot. Okay, we need to mine. Wait, we need to map this. I think separately now that it's a named location. Okay, there's the mining camp, and there's a pantry here, or dresser or something. Probably shouldn't take those flares because we're kind of overloaded already. There is kind of a, a meandering river that goes down there, and then some falls, but I guess we should technically check it out, but I will stay on target here. We're going to come back through this way anyway. What's our weight like now? 42, not too bad. Okay. Into the mine we go. Let's use that lantern, I guess. We got lots of flares, but I kind of like the look of the lantern more. And it's not as noisy as those flares. Okay, those flares will leave. <laughs> In we go. Might have to cook up this deer pretty soon and eat it, but we'll wait till we're a bit more hungry. Okay, lots of stuff here. More matches. We'll take the light stuff. Holy matches. Hope I can still eat this. Holy matches, Batman. Lots of coal. Any charcoal in there? Yeah, we'll take that. Oops, I just put the wrong thing away. <laughs> Let's uh, get that back out. Okay, so you're going to get your feet wet here, so you can take off your socks and shoes to avoid that. Freezing. Lots of coal along the way. We'll leave it. We're coming back this way anyway. We are close to the good stuff. Okay, I can't remember which way is which here. Oh, we're gonna go. Oh, that's all a dead end anyway, so that makes it simple. Take the marine flares, they're pretty good. They don't burn as long, but they keep away. Timberwolf packs. Whereas the red flares don't. And I think we're here. I think we are here at the good point. Uh, no, not quite. We're almost there. Premature excitement.
And it, oh, here we are. And it is exciting because, because of this bad boy. Actually, there's two things here. There's the crampons. We'll get a screenshot here. Crampons. That'll come in handy. Very handy. Uh, we're going to take off this ear wrap and put the crampons in instead. We could all allow it. Oh, we need our shoes on first. Okay, shoes on. You can't use the crampons without shoes. Which makes sense. Got some lantern fluid. A lot of stuff in here. We got an improvised hatchet. We'll take the bullets. This stuff will come in handy. Uh, what else do we got here? Tomato soup. A lot of food in here. Charcoal. But here's... Oh, I keep doing that. <laughs> Sorry. I keep getting the, the uh, charcoal in my hand and I think that I need to use it or put it away. Got some uh, text here about um, climbing. Explaining the backpack a little bit. Here we go. Technical backpack. Carrying capacity increased. So now we can carry 45 kilograms. It adds five kilograms. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So, did I search this guy? No. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Sorry, buddy, you didn't make it. You look kind of gray. Kind of morbid. Kind of morbid. We're going to cook up that deer here real quick. So let's get that going. Uh, how much accelerant do I have? Five. Let's use this. Looks like it worked. Mm-hmm. Sure did. Let's burn this coal that we drop brought. Any of this gear. Okay, it's faster to cook things in. Oh, two percent. That's that's very suspect. <laughs> suspect food. Put these pots on here. The meat will cook faster with these. Cook those up. And I'm going to eat the meat first because it's really heavy. Twenty six minutes. I guess we'll, uh, anything we can do while we wait. Any repairs? Everything's in pretty good condition, actually. Guess we'll just pass time. Eat that up. And nine minutes for that one. We're gonna eat that up. How are we doing for water? I've got lots of water. We're a little bit tired. It's still early in the day, I think, though. Yeah. So if we go this way, up this ramp, uh, that leads. Oh, we got another rifle here. Wow. Stump removers for bullets. We're going to leave that. I think I can use this. Nice another rifle, though. What's the condition? 51%. What's the one we got? 100%. <laughs> we'll leave it behind. We don't need it. We'll go this way, just so I can show you, but this is not the way we're going to permanently go. This leads to the exit of a cave. Well, I guess we have one reason to come along here. This exits the cave and then there's a, a place you can climb down, but you can't climb back up. I guess we'll grab the coal since we're not going through here again anytime soon. Actually, we'll pop our heads out, and we'll um, we'll do a mapping here. Now we might need to come through here later, but as you can see, you can climb down there, but you can't get back up. And then there's a climb down there. Well, let's just map here. Yeah, so that kind of is another way 
around. Um, oh, I almost fell. Jeez, I'm gonna leave that torch. <laughs> These are, let's use a flare, even though they're loud. Loud and annoying. So we're just gonna go back <clears throat> to the uh, mine entrance. Probably sleep in this cave first. And we'll backtrack all the way and then we'll go to Miner's Folly, which is another named location we need to map for this zone. Nice jacket here, but we already have pretty I amazing jackets. I forgot to search this. We go. I'm not gonna take my shoes off just so you guys can see. And now our socks and shoes are all wet. So grab the coal. Too heavy. We definitely don't need it, but we'll put it at the beginning, the entrance. Dark. So it's we still got daylight, but we kind of need to sleep. Could break these down, pass some time. I think we'll just keep going. We got some not so nice weather, but we got lots of clothes, so we're okay. Actually, we're gonna need to sleep before we go up that rope again. So we'll take a look around here real quick along the river, which I didn't go out on. Is there something under here? No. Just rocks. This is going full blizzard. Yep. We're going to be in full blizzard here in a second. And there's no way we're mapping in this. But we'll take a look over here. Now we're getting cold. Clothing's getting wet. Normally I, I would not stand around in a blizzard, but I wanted to show you this little area here, which I don't think is a named location. Let's see. Got some feathers. Something died here. Oh, we got a revolver. Another revolver. Wonder if this is any good. To I'm eat. gonna bring it, and we'll put it. Um, we'll put it by the climb, in case we ever need a revolver in the future. Okay, so there's a some falls here, but this is not named by the look of it. So I'm gonna head back into the cave. And try to sleep through this blizzard. Even though it's in the middle of the day. Now it's minus six. We're actually getting cold. First time in a long time. I will grab these. We'll get them curing. In the cave. In case I ever need them in the future. Probably won't, but... You never know. Now it's 
Minus seven. Minus twenty out. Back in the mine. We're gonna sleep here. Hopefully that blizzard passes. But first, actually, let me put those bird saplings down. Oops, the sticks. Actually, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here uh, a little bit early. Next episode, we're gonna go. We're gonna go backtrack all the way back to where I said there's a turn off to the bear and then we're gonna go down this right side of the zone and map all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, hit that like button. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye.